Hello and welcome to Investution, a community where you scale up your knowledge. The Power of Habit is a book written by Charles Duhigg that explores the science behind our habits and how we can use that knowledge to change them. Habits are the small actions we perform every day without even thinking about them. Duhigg argues that understanding the science of habits can help us change our behaviors and ultimately transform our lives. The book delves into case studies of individuals and organizations that have successfully transformed their habits, and provides practical advice and strategies for readers to apply to their own lives. Lesson number 1. Habits are the foundation of our lives. The power of habit emphasizes that habits are the foundation of our lives. They are the small actions that we perform every day, often without even thinking about them. Habits can be as simple as brushing our teeth in the morning, checking our phones when we wake up, or biting our nails when we're nervous. They can also be more complex, such as the way we interact with others, our reactions to stress, or our approach to work. According to the book, habits are formed through a loop of cue, routine, and reward. The cue is the trigger that prompts us to perform a particular behavior. This could be something as simple as seeing a notification on our phone or feeling a craving for a particular food. The routine is the behavior itself, the action that we take in response to the cue. Finally, the reward is the positive outcome that we receive from performing the behavior, whether it's a feeling of satisfaction, a sense of accomplishment, or a physical or emotional benefit. Over time, the loop of cue, routine, and reward becomes ingrained in our brains, creating a habit that we perform automatically, often without conscious thought. This can be both beneficial and detrimental, depending on the habit. Positive habits, such as regular exercise, healthy eating, and good sleep habits, can have numerous benefits for our physical and mental health. Negative habits, such as smoking, excessive drinking, or procrastination, can have negative consequences for our health, relationships, and productivity. The book highlights the importance of understanding our habits in order to create positive change in our lives. By identifying the cues and rewards associated with our habits, we can begin to change the routine and replace negative habits with positive ones. For example, if we have a habit of checking our phones first thing in the morning, we can replace this routine with a positive one, such as meditation or exercise, that still provides a reward, such as a sense of calm or increased energy. Lesson number 2. Habits can be changed. The power of habit emphasizes that habits are not fixed or unchangeable. One of the central principles of the book is that habits can be changed, and Duhigg provides readers with practical strategies for doing so. The key to changing a habit is to understand the cue, routine, and reward components that make up the habit loop, and to identify opportunities for intervention. The first step in changing a habit is to identify the cue that triggers the habit. This could be a specific time of day, a particular location, a certain feeling or emotion, or any other trigger that prompts the habit. Once the cue has been identified, it's important to understand the routine that follows. This could be a physical action, a thought pattern, or an emotional response. Finally, it's essential to understand the reward that the habit provides. This could be a feeling of satisfaction, a sense of accomplishment, or a physical or emotional benefit. Once the cue, routine, and reward components of a habit have been identified, Duhigg suggests experimenting with different routines to see what works best. For example, if the habit is snacking on unhealthy food in the afternoon, it might be possible to replace this routine with a healthier one, such as going for a walk or drinking a glass of water. By experimenting with different routines, it's possible to find a new behavior that provides a similar reward to the old habit. Duhigg also emphasizes the importance of creating a plan for changing a habit. This might involve setting goals, tracking progress, and creating a support system. For example, if the goal is to exercise more regularly, it might be helpful to join a gym, find a workout buddy, or set a regular schedule for exercising. Habits are deeply ingrained in our brains, and it takes time and effort to create new, positive habits. However, by focusing on the cue, routine, and reward components of a habit, and by experimenting with different routines and creating a plan for change, it's possible to replace negative habits with positive ones and transform our lives for the better. Lesson number 3. Willpower is limited. In The Power of Habit, Duhigg explains that willpower is a limited resource, meaning that we only have a certain amount of it to use each day. 
Willpower is the mental energy that we use to resist temptation, control our impulses, and make difficult decisions. When we use our willpower, it becomes depleted, and we become more vulnerable to giving in to our desires and making impulsive decisions. Duhigg cites several studies that illustrate the limitations of willpower. For example, a study conducted by Roy Baumeister and his colleagues found that students who were asked to resist eating cookies were less able to perform a difficult task afterward than those who were allowed to eat the cookies. This suggests that exerting willpower in one area of our lives can deplete our willpower in other areas. The implications of this research are significant for creating new habits. If we rely too heavily on willpower to maintain new habits, we may find ourselves struggling to stay committed. Instead, it's important to create habits that do not require a lot of willpower to maintain. For example, instead of relying on willpower to resist the temptation to eat unhealthy snacks, we can create a habit of keeping healthy snacks on hand and readily available. Duhigg suggests that one way to conserve willpower is to create keystone habits. Keystone habits are habits that have a positive ripple effect on other areas of our lives. For example, regular exercise is a keystone habit that can lead to better sleep, increased productivity, and improved mood. By focusing on creating keystone habits, we can create positive changes in our lives without depleting our limited willpower. In summary, the principle that willpower is limited highlights the importance of creating habits that do not require a lot of willpower to maintain. By conserving our willpower and focusing on creating keystone habits, we can create positive changes in our lives without exhausting our mental energy. There are many more principles stated in this book, we will take a look at them in next video that is part 2 of this video. Till then stay tuned and subscribe to Investution.